and of course at Flemington Grand National Steeplechase Day and the final of the statewide winter championship and champion jockey Darren Gauchy bounced right back into the winners list after a run of outs he completed a winning treble let's have a look at the opening uh, of the last yeah. He's over it safely to Tengahari, three to region and five to contract. 2.50 to go, go gong by two lengths. The little grey hanging onto the lead from Tengahari. Region running on well, a long gap to the orchardist and contract. Go gone tired, he's still two and a half in front. Region and Tengahari together. But go gong, he's the leader near the line. He can hardly walk, but he's going to lead all the way. Go gong wins at a length to region. A length and a half to Tengahari third. 15 lengths to the orchardist. His uh, sovereign nation running on well, but Kiwi slaves bursting away in the run home and Kiwi Slave wins a length and a half Noble Cavalier Gay Tulip have got up for third and those in front of Mistral Flyer First of a winning treble for Darren Gauchy on Kiwi Slave at sevens Noble Cavalier nines Gay Tulip ten to one the favourite Arctic Wolf always well back at and game trooper but in the run home Mandator running on well but Colonial Flag wins by five lengths Oh, a soft win. Second, Mandator. Third is our vanity for... ...showed that he Slave may have been and was a class above his rivals. Yes, he Nine did. You know, he raced very well yesterday. Uh, he raced a bit cleaner, which he now is a sprint. A little quicker over the Noble last 400 metres. His, uh, and, you know, for Ryan, he was, well, was kept very fresh for this race, and he's won pretty well. That race was 1,400 metres. You followed with a 2,500 metre race. Another easy win. This time, another Robert Sainz to Colin Hayes horse. Brown in colonial flag. This yes, colonial flag is probably a class above his horses. Uh, last year, won the herd of power. He's and he sort of really and only had no to hit race. form Interest to win this race miners, yesterday, and, uh, which he did. He won impressively. He certainly hasn't been the most reliable customer over the years here since he came here from Europe, but he seems to be putting it together now, Darren. Oh, yes, well, you know, since he's been down in Melbourne, he's been down in Melbourne for about eight days prior to this race. And it was back to a sprint distance at 1,200 metres of the lawn handicap and a win on No Laughing Matter at 16 to 1. Yeah, well, no Laughing Matter uh, was freshened up. He's been racing over a slightly longer journey and he did have a problem with his back and uh, the trainer said to me yesterday he seemed as though he'd come back and he should run a nice race. Well, he certainly did run a nice race. It really streaked, streaked away from towards the end of it. Terrible.